Y'all probably got the same sentiment. It's okay. It's about anime. Relax. Don't come at me like that. <laughs> hey, fam. What you know good? Sports. Primarily baseball, volleyball. Other genres. Uh, and then golf. These might seem mad different. You know what I'm saying? But they all got one thing in common. They boring as hell. I, I, I said it. I, I mean, hey. <laughs> and I know some of y'all probably like, oh, 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 not, not enter my favorite sports he just mentioned here. Oh, but when the last time you've been to a baseball game? When the last time you've been to a golf expedition or whatever the hell they call it? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But even, even broadcasting-wise, these sports ain't the most popping. You feel me? And I think it's interesting how anime can kind of change a sport that ain't popping into something that is interesting, something that's uh, you know, kind of gas. Like, like, um, like competitive climbing. I didn't, I didn't watch it because I, uh, I'm, I keep looking the wrong way. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't watch it because it was subbed and I wasn't sticking around for that story to uh, have to read it. But you know, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure it was gas. I mean, rock climbing. But I figured it'd be fun to you know go over some genres that I have seen, go over some sports genres I haven't seen, see how they stack compared to each other. You know what I'm saying? see uh if we can create some new fans you know because it'd be people out here who don't even know that anime got genres in it y'all they don't so today we here for the sports fans this for y'all this for the uh the, the alphas i don't know <laughs> while educating the folk who ain't pressed about anime about sports anime or anime sports one of uh, sports anime. That's that's the right one. That's the one. Okay, so first on the list we got Harukana receives a show about beach volleyball. <laughs> I was trying to find one to compare, and I knew I wanted one on the list that I'm not gonna mention yet, but I wanted one to compare to it, and I feel like this one is actually kind of decent to compare it to. It's beach volleyball, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all guess what kind of angle they was trying to go for. <coughs> In the back. So it starts off with Haruko, which I'm assuming she's a high school student, moving in with her uh, cousin and her cousin grandma or they grandma. Yeah, they grandma. I'm tripping. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah. They slide to the beach and they, uh, while they're there, you know what I'm saying, they meet Kana. Kanata? Yeah, Kanata. Uh, her, her cousin old homies and it's instant Anna like it's, it's crazy as wild which was actually pleasantly surprising for me you know what I'm saying I appreciated the Anna that I felt and I did feel like they were over hyping moments like like oh my god that surf was amazing oh it was like come on it was, it was all right like you, you, you wilding a little bit but it, it still felt genuine like the <laughs> You felt like the characters genuinely meant what they were saying. You felt you yeah, that that makes sense. I should also mention that a uh, baby girl was kind of like on some baseball ish, which a lot of these shows is kind of talking shit about baseball. But that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> she was kind of on some baseball ish, talking about I'm gonna be an ace, I'm gonna be the ace. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, Nah, it's, it's not about that. It's not about. She like she almost fought her about. It. But she was like, it's not about one person, it's about a team. You gotta find your team. You know what I'm saying? So, they uh, they play uh, her old homies. They end up losing a course because, I mean, she don't, she don't really know a damn thing about beach volleyball for real. Or volleyball, I don't know if it's a difference. <laughs> but... They end up whooping her. She also, I wanna, I wanna do it again. We gotta, we gotta run another fade. Kinda to uh, homie Nanami tell her, we we can play in a week, but 
in a week because I'm trash. Basically what she said. Basically. But even with the expected service, I still felt like the show was genuinely good, you know. And it might have helped because uh, none of me was ready to what, 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 baby girl. Might have, it might have, that might have made it better. And even though it is expected service going on, they still make the characters mad likable. And to be honest, on the first episode, aside. Aside from a couple angles, I didn't see nothing like too crazy. Like it wasn't too wild. Like the next one we talk about, y'all, you go see wild. <laughs> next, hi. If you thought the other one had angles, this John uh kind of wild. I don't know if you noticed they was I mean I don't know if you noticed but they was they was um they was talking that whole time they was giving dialogue. What? <laughs> so the story if you don't know cuz I mean this anime is a classic why wouldn't you know? <laughs> it's basically about two shorties uh Nazumi and Sayaka uh starting a training and career as professional kaijo players. I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna let the show explain how it's played. Hey Joe, this ladies only competition takes place on a floating structure called a land. The goal is to knock your opponents off using only your boots and butt. If you touch the land with anything other than your feet, or if you get knocked off, you lose. Now even though this show obviously lean heavy heavy on fan service, I still feel like it's a fire sports anime mainly because a lot of the characters is real unique and I'm pretty sure on the first episode baby girl snapped two shawty's necks I just want to say y'all probably think I added that little snap sound and I did not that that was um that was all her like them like them niggas dead bro ain't no way but that's why it's gas. Like, you don't expect the intensity to pop off, but when it do, you like, <laughs> damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 really just it's really just just masterful. <laughs> just masterful. Not to mention, folk got their like own special moves, kind of like a Naruto, like Jutsu. I'm telling you, like, it, they be doing a lot. Like, as far as shows that's like dramatic with how they present the sport. Kaijo is probably the top on this list and <laughs> but it's gas it's gas it's gas it's gas it's gas it's gas and it make me want to watch other things because I know other other show other sports shows kind of move the same way you feel me like all sports shows kind of have a dynamic of what they like bring to the table you feel me and it might be uh recycled but it's still a dynamic that you might not expect in that type of anime you feel you feel what I'm saying you feel what I'm saying Bro, you keep talking about this show. Like, why? Look, I if they make a game, maybe I'll stop talking about it. Bro, it ain't even a real sport. Like, you just wanted to bring it up, bro. Like, just, you playing, bro. Actually, they did make it a real sport in Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't know that, did you? Which make it more prominent. To talk about. I ain't stopping until they make a game or they bring Kaijo to the US. <laughs> so next we have two to be honest because I really couldn't decide on either of these. I decided on one and then I really liked it and then I was like maybe well I didn't really like it but like I still liked it you know what I'm saying so I felt like it was it was, it was, I watched it for y'all, so it was, it was meaningful to talk about, but at the same time, I felt like it, there was a cycle I was kind of going through with the other ones, so Crunchyroll p b b gave, it suggested it to me, I was like, I bet. <laughs> so I'm going to give y'all a quick description of both shows, and then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, you know, talk about them. 
Dirt, dirt. You, you, you see how the, how the video been going, okay? I really appreciate it if you've been staying this long because I feel like i just been all over the place, kind of. <laughs> Big wind up. Big wind up is about a dusty, anxious kid named Mihashi who uh, privileged his way into <laughs> being pitcher at his old school and all the kids hated him for it because he was trash and he ended up moving to another school finding a catcher who caught the right plays for his throws and you know what I'm saying that new team about to mess the other team up you feel me I, that, that's why I ain't seen it but the rivalry make it interesting you know what I'm saying the fact that he left the old school other people thinking he trash just because they don't know how to do what they need to do and he done found somebody who know you know what I'm saying my man I'll get I I'll think get I'll get hyped thinking about it. <laughs> and I think it's the dynamic of the uh main character being so anxious and nervous about genuinely wanting to be good at what he do and not knowing that he is good, you know. And that resonate. Tama Yomi. Tama Yomi is about a shorty who used to play ba baseball a lot, but stopped and her old homie ended up going to the same school as her and they meet some homies and now they all playing baseball <laughs> but one of the new homies almost get cracked in the face wild pitch <laughs> but that's okay because that's how she gonna be pro almost hitting niggas in the face so these two shows ain't as dramatic as a lot of the shows on this list, or some shows, one. But I do think the dynamics is different in a good way, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these shows, especially the baseball genres, probably ain't gonna get your typical, I'm trying to see somebody catch a body anime fan, you feel me? Except for maybe Tommy Yomi, cause she definitely almost caught a body on that bit, she, yo. <laughs> And that's the only thing that made me want to keep watching, boy. I was like, I want to see her almost smack the hell out niggas. But I think in most sports anime, there's at least one thing that's able to get somebody engaged that might not be that interested in that sport in the first place. Which leads me to the reason I decided to make this video in the first place. Rising Impact. So this genre just came out on Netflix and it's about golf. <laughs> I peeped it solely out of boredom and it was gas. It wasn't gas, but I, I was entertained. I was entertained. So in the first episode, a professional golfer end up in the boonies. I don't know why. And she ended up meeting a little homie named Gawain. And I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Guy Wayne stole the show. Stole that bitch. Came in with a duffel bag. Said, give me them more. He kind of an ass though. I don't know though. The lady was kind of weird too. Like, 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 look at this. It's like gate ball, the one old people play. She looks too young for that. Why wouldn't she play normal sports? Maybe she's a lot older than she looks. We should probably call her Granny instead of this. Don't you ever call me Granny! Ah! Like, damn, he a child. You beating all these kids? Like, what is this? Where they, where they, where they bears at? So he explaining to her why baseball is better than golf with his homies. And how he trying to get how he trying to hit the longest hey don't sh don't shoot the messenger man I'm just I'm just I'm just telling y'all what 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 they say in the show okay the gutter you mind get it out okay I don't know what stop so they start playing golf together. He start hitting balls, you know what I'm saying? And she like, This guy's got the goal! Ah! I'm gonna make you famous! So she tell him, if he get better, 
then he could slide to Tokyo, you know what I'm saying, see her, and then they could play for real, you know what I'm saying? And mind you, mind you, mind you, mind you, mind you, it kind of gave the impression that she was going to ask to take him, right? If you don't mind, would you be open to the idea Miss of... Kitty oh. She kind of gave that impression. And my man, Gal Wayne, start fucking his hands. Oh, oh my, like, look at this! Oh, look at all of my blisters! Oh. That's worse than blisters. I don't know what this man was doing. I don't know how hard he was gripping that damn golf club, but like that's unnecessary at that point. You're doing too much. But his grandpa damn near seen it and was like, yep, you done made your mind up. I'm gonna send you the baby girl. <laughs> like, it's, like, it's really wild. Like, she, like they met her that day. She stayed the night that day, and maybe within like a like like a couple of days or a week, he just said, "Bet go with that woman to his grandchild." He didn't even know he was sliding. Like that's just uh, Jesus. Like have oh Lord. <laughs> and from there, my man start his journey on hitting the longest. You feel me? I can relate, Galway. I think it's wild how, like, someone like me, I would not watch anything correlated to golf really at all. For real. <laughs> and the fact that a lot of the shows on this list take a more fan service approach to the sports to kind of make them more entertaining. The fact that the show, this show, didn't take that approach. They kind of took a shonen route you know and and and, and kind of put a kid in the midst of this like adult thing that they assume he just ain't good at and he bodying i think it's gas i think it's extremely gas i think it's fire and to be honest i think i might continue watching it because my, like i said my mate galway he, he, he my dog he my dog he almost like the new kataro if you if you mess with Kataro lives alone, you'll probably mess with Guy Wayne. Or Rising Impact. In conclusion, if you a sports fan and you never peeped anime at all and you just met a fine ass shorty, a fine ass weed a weeb who 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 who, who mess with that shit heavy. Easy in with something you comfortable with, you feel me? Anime got something for everybody. Yeah, but that'll be it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this little uh, analysis on sports anime. This four, five anime <laughs> episode review. Uh, it was kind of oh shit. It was kind of taxing. It was kind of taxing on the mental to do, especially when I, you know, I've been hell. I mean, I assume y'all have peeped. If y'all haven't, I'm gonna be mad as hell. But my the hella videos I have released on my uh, gaming channel. It's not hella, but for me it's hella because I don't post. So <laughs> and a steady consistency up up uh, over there. So uh, I hope to have a gameplay up close to when this is up so if it's up i'll put it somewhere card somewhere uh peep it peep it peep it peep it peep it peep it, peep it. and with that being said thank you all so much for watching i hope i educated some randos and some uh anime content i hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you did and if you like more videos like this where i go deeper into animes and in 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 topics of anime then, then leave a like comment let me know and subscribe to your boy who who trying and i hope you see it because like i i know i'm making more work for myself to put these up twice but it don't matter <laughs> and with that oh, jesus with that being said make sure y'all know good stay good i'm gonna talk to y'all later all right dogs